Hey everyone, I want to share with you eight tips for the first time or veteran home seller. Uh, okay, number one, hire an experienced real estate agent. Hire someone who knows what they're doing, who knows your market, and uh, has sold real estate before. So, uh, preferably a realtor in good standing. Uh, number two, detach yourself from the process. You've lived in the home, you have memories in the home. However, when you go to sell it, okay, even if you're working with a real estate agent, detach yourself from the process. It's not personal, it's business, and you're looking to sell it to someone who has no emotional ties to your house whatsoever. So again, detach yourself from the process. Um, number three, don't overprice. I've seen this happen often. Uh, you know, right now we don't have a whole lot of a whole lot of houses for sale compared to how many buyers we have. So sometimes houses still sit. Well, why is that? One, it could be the house itself, or it could be because it's overpriced. So keep in mind that don't overprice out the gate because it could actually have your house sitting on the market longer, and uh, just does it doesn't help you out in any way, shape, or form. Okay, number four. Declutter and stage for a quick sale. Declutter as much as you can of your house. Go through your garage, get rid of stuff that you don't use, box it up, put it in tubs. Uh, same thing with your house. Okay, anything that you don't need, that you don't, that you're not going to use in six months. Okay, get rid of it. Declutter. Put it to the curb. Bring it to the the Salvation Army or or whatnot. Get rid of it. Uh, okay. Number five, make the necessary repairs or upgrades. If something's broke, fix it. Uh, if you have a faucet that always leaks, fix it. It's, the, it's, it's not just the big things, it's the small things that also make a, uh, uh, they actually make an impact when someone's coming through your home. Okay, so fix the repairs, do the upgrades if you can uh, to get more money when you go to sell. Okay, number six, uh, let's give, Let's give your home curb appeal, okay? Uh, often I say to my sellers, have someone go to the curb, your friend, your neighbor, whomever, okay? Someone who's, who's honest, okay? And have them look at your house. Does your grass look nice and neat? Um, if it's the winter time and there's snow, is your driveway, your walkways salted? Is it nice and clean? Make sure that everything looks good. You're, you want your house to have house, I'm sorry, curb appeal. Okay, so huge step. Okay, number seven, keep an open mind for negotiations. Buyers are gonna try to get your house for the best dollar possible. Both the buyer and the, and the seller want to feel good about the negotiations. So make sure that everything is fair, but have, have, an, have an open mind. Uh, if a buyer d dis discovers during inspection that they have to put Two three thousand dollars into your house. Let's say uh, you know fixing a furnace or a water heater or anything like that. Uh, they may ask you to to kind of budge a little bit on price. So I'm not saying you should, but have an open mind when it comes to negotiations. And finally, be prepared to close. Uh, probably my favorite step is when your house is sold and you are approaching the closing table, make sure that you have all your stuff in order. Uh, if you have occupancy, meaning you're staying in the home after you close, make sure everything's good. Uh, pay the final water bill, all those things. Uh, so those are my tips. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Share with your friends. Comment below. Make it a great day.